Scott, who has filled in for me a number of times to lead music and to sing. And uh, Brother Otis Forrest is over at the piano, or we'll be back at the piano. There he is, out in front. And uh, he is, he'll be playing tonight, and uh, known Otis for a long time. And uh, his, uh, his resume speaks longer than we have time for. And uh, but God has blessed him, his talents, and we're so glad that you're here uh, to hear Scott and uh, Otis as they kind of combine as a duo to, to go out and minister to churches and the folks uh, in our area. But we want to pray for them and uh, just as God opens the service tonight. And let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, what a privilege it is to be in your house. Lord, to not only hear your word proclaimed and preaching, but Lord, minister through song. And Father, uh, music is a joy in our hearts. And Father, the more that we have godly given hymns and uh, songs that lift us up, Lord, it, it helps us to get through the week. It lifts our spirits, Lord, it puts us in tune with you and your word. And Father, I thank you for godly people who have written songs and written tunes, and Lord, that minister to my heart and my life through the years. But Father, tonight we pray that uh, you just let the Holy Spirit be with us and meet in this building tonight. Lord, as uh, we walk and talk and sing and listen and pray and uh, clap our hands and rejoice. But Father, pray for Otis and Scott tonight that you just minister through them to us. And Father, may you be honored and glorified for your precious and holy and most wonderful name that we pray. Amen. We'll make a welcome to Otis Forrest. It's God Phillips. I just I just want to say it's a privilege to be here. I met your pastor yesterday, a wonderful man. We're looking forward to it and uh, we're just going to Praise the Lord in the music. Hope you enjoy.
everybody is winning. Everybody is winning. It's alright, go ahead and have a good time. It's alright, go ahead and have a good time. It's alright, go ahead and have a good time. It's alright, go ahead and have a good time in the Lord.
There's a lighthouse on a blue sky that overlooks life's sea. When I cross the path, it sings a lot. The light that shines in darkness, I will safely be home. It wasn't that old lighthouse I should would be. For Jesus is the lighthouse, and from the rocks of sin, He has shown a light around me that I not clearly see.
participated on. And no one ever cared for me like Jesus, and that certainly is a fact. Mother, mother, father, sister, best friend. No one ever cared for me like Jesus.
just uh, let's just I just wanted to interrupt it just to have some prayer for Michaela's grandfather. Okay, so let's lift uh, him up to the Lord in prayer. Father, uh, I do want to pray, Michaela's grandfather, that you will just minister to him this very moment. She just got the text that he's just not doing well. And so, Father, I pray you sense your presence. And Lord, his condition, I know not, but you do. And if he doesn't know you as Lord and Savior, I pray that he will cry out unto you. And if he does, may he be comforted, Father, in a special way. May you just, your precious will in his life at this moment. And I just pray that you'll just, um, Caleb will experience your wonderful grace. That you'll just, just bathe her in your grace tonight. Calm any nerves and we just want to praise you for it. May we enjoy your presence in this place. Thank you. And we are. Through the music and the singing, we thank you for it. So we ask these things in Jesus' most precious name, and for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. You know, we're coming up on Mother's Day in just a few weeks, and we put some Mother's song on our song that we remember. Uh, Scotland's too. If I could hear my mother pray again.
did this on these old songs. I want you to know during the recordings I had my glasses on too. Because I'm getting a little older, not too much, but a little bit, and I want to make sure I said all these words right, because I have been known to make them up. So I'll, I'll see you right before.
these papers way back up here. I just want to say thank you for allowing us to be here. And we've kind of been uh, uh, out of sorts for the last several weeks. Uh, he had a fall at home and uh, messed up his rib. And was in and out of the hospital. And I was trying to nurse three kidney stones. So we've had kind of time, but uh, God is, as he said earlier, is faithful. And, uh, the devil will try everything he can to defeat us, right. discourage us, to cause us to doubt, uh, and really just try to beat us up. But God is, I always try to remember that when all that comes my way, I know that's not God telling me that. I know that's... Satan trying to discourage me and defeat me. Because God's there for me to encourage me and to help me and to lead me. And although He allows things to come my way, He's always right there with us as we go. And so I'm just so thankful for that. And uh, just again glad to be here. This is a dream come true for me because I, uh, I've known Otis Forrest really all my life from kind of a distance and we got reacquainted with a year or so ago, and he made a comment to me. He said, you know, if you ever need an old, worn-out piano player to play for you sometime, he said, uh, give me a call. And, uh, it just The Lord just wanted this, this out for us to be able to do what we're doing, and I hope we can do it for a long time because I love it. It's a, uh, it's a passion of mine, also uh, just a joy be able to do it with a man like this. I know he don't take credit for it, and I don't take credit for what God gave me because people say, whether well, you had formal training or all this kind of thing, and there's nothing wrong with that. My son's got a master, uh, master's degree in music education, and that's wonderful. But God just gave me what I have, and I don't have any, any of that. And I'm just thankful him. All I can do is praise him. I can't take any credit. Just so thankful that I have an opportunity to do this. And you pray for us as we go uh, into the future, as it, God allows to different places and venues that we will be able to encourage people. And the music that we do, uh, as you have noticed, is primarily old music, older music. And I like uh, some of the newer songs. They're okay. Heard this, I told him that Enon about a month ago, and these two gentlemen were talking and said, uh, one said, What do you think about that temporary music? And other looked at it and said, Well, it probably won't last long. <laughs> and so, uh, there's some good new songs uh, out there that I, I just can't get away from the old songs. Those that are written in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and 50s, uh, they're, they're great. They're wonderful. They're, they're, they've got heart, they've got uh, meaning to them. And, so I will never let that go. Even though I do sing some newer songs from time to time, I just love these old songs, and that's what we're 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 doing and trying to uh, keep those alive as long as we're around. So anyway, I don't know what touch with that. Well, I'm gonna talk just a bit here. I'll say that Scott and I have a lot in common. He was raised on Lavin's Mill, yes, and so was I. And it was what I call a hillbilly musician. And uh, he had a little, what these guys never did play anywhere, I don't think, but they just played the living room. But uh, his grandfather played with my daddy. And his father, just a couple of years old, maybe two or three. And so we were cut out of the same mold, so to speak. I'm going to I'm gonna play one more song before I do. I want to tell you that we have CDs. Let's see. I think we've got about six CDs. Everybody's looking for a bargain. There's nothing wrong with that. So we're going to give you six CDs for $45. That's a really good price. And as long as it lasts, I think I've got eight of these. We'll give you one of my it, I've been nominated for a Grammy three times, and I compiled from those uh, music uh, these songs. It's 
the lush orchestra. There's no drums on it. There's no fast songs. It's uh, woodwinds, strings, uh, oh, percussion things here and there. I'll give you one of those if you buy the six. And uh, almost all of those CDs are over an hour long. So take them with you if you didn't come prepared. You can take a set and just send me a check. I trust Christian folks. And uh, we will take a check to also. I'm going to, we're going to take a little break after this. Um, I've been friends with Bill Gaither. I see, I met Bill in 68. He and Gloria and Bill's brother Danny came down to Indiana looking for recording studios. They were going to build one. So they stopped by Mark Five where I was working one day. And then they went on down to Atlanta where the Fevers had a studio. And he subsequently built a very nice studio. But I hadn't seen him <clears throat> in years until he started that uh, Homecoming series, Homecoming videos. I played on many, many, many of those. And I was probably in uh, at least a dozen of the videos. Uh, and he has a uh, weekly radio show, I think it's on Sirius, one of those the networks. And he uses one of my songs as his theme song. It's just an old spiritual, it's just a simple CFG D7. But this is what I did with it. He uses it.
uh, to show your appreciation to them, not only by your giving now, but also buy their CDs. Uh, I've got a piece of the piano. Uh, Jenny gave me a copy of that, and Gene and I have been listening to that, and it's just, uh, it's just beautiful. So uh, enjoy the music and, uh, and, and the way the Lord is working in that. Thank you. 
Sure.